So last Friday, I attended the screening of an independent film in Torrington, Connecticut. I was invited by my friend Bobby, who knows the director and is familiar with uh, previous work from this production company. The film was Bernice II, and as you could see, I, I picked up a copy. What is Bernice II? I think that most people who walked out of the theater were asking themselves the same question. It's from a production company, um, it's the Elmwood Puppets, which is essentially um, a more R-rated version of the Muppets based right here in Connecticut. According to the director and a lot of the crew, uh, they have themselves attended a lot of uh, independent film productions, uh, like their first screening, and in many cases they are a little bit perhaps pretentious, and they were sort of like, you know what? We could do the same thing, but with puppets. This is a weird one, folks. I have to admit, I kind of liked it. It was batshit out of its mind. It, it didn't particularly make sense. The story follows these two old puppets, uh, one of whom is, is controlling an electronic wheelchair and the other one kind of rides on the back of it. And it's just them going from place to place and encountering these different other puppets who are all going through something and some of it interconnects and some of it directly references things that uh, have happened in other Elmwood productions. I've only seen one other one and I'll get to that in a second. Also really cool is that there's a lot of music from some local bands, again based here in Connecticut. One of the questions that was asked at the end of the screening was how was it like legally like getting the permits and, and doing all this stuff and they mentioned about how there was this one particular scene that they were filming with these two puppets coasting along and some cops drove by and slowed down the car like as if to ask them what are you doing with this camera and then they saw the two puppets on the wheelchair and they just laughed and kept driving it's all disjointed it is done in that sort of like pretentious um you know indie, indie film kind of a deal uh there are parts of it that almost do feel kind of profound in a weird way it's a lot of fun though uh from beginning to end i, I was laughing laughing in the best way like wh what is this really what am i watching right now the other thing that i thought was really funny and if you were to buy the dvd you wouldn't know this but the puppets actually break the fourth wall in the film and say like you know Oh, and then there are people who just like to buy videos and sit at home and watch them. And then they like turn and they look at the camera. Well, when I went to see the screening, it was the opposite. The puppets said, yeah, and some people like to go out to, uh, you, you know, to big flashy premieres to watch these movies. And then they like turn and look at the audience. I just, it, it was a little tidbit that I noticed and I thought that it was really funny. While I was there, I, I also picked up a copy of Head. <laughs> which is uh, interesting to talk about. See, the thing that I like about Head is, um, <laughs> which is a legitimate slasher movie with puppets in it. Head, I, t in order to give it a proper review, I'd really have to watch it again. I will say that it starts out kind of slow. It's a little difficult to get into. It's a legit slasher movie with puppets. There's puppet tits and like, it, it, it's insane. But the thing is, the way it's written more towards the second half of the film, it works so well as an actual slasher movie that I almost forgot that I was watching puppets because I, I just got into the slasher film, which, I mean, can be argued, hey, they did a really great job. I still think I prefer Bernice too. Uh, the production, like, quality was obviously a lot better in Bernice too. Um, they had a lot more time to work on it. I believe they filmed it uh, during the peak of the pandemic. There's all sorts of other things that they've done. Uh, there is a vampire series that they did with like a, a vampire puppet or something like that. I have yet to watch it, but from what I understand, it's available on YouTube, so I will try to provide a link. Bernice too. if what I said sounds interesting, I will also leave a trailer for it below. And that looks like something that might just be crazy enough for you to check out. I would highly advise it. It's, uh, it's, it's very interesting to say the least. It's just a nice little independent company that I would like to support. So I'm just doing a, you know, quick shout out to it so that the, uh, what, 58 people subscribe to me currently, uh, maybe like two or three will actually go and watch one of these movies. But hey, every little bit counts, right? All right, so The Elmwood Puppets, if you guys feel like it, check it out. Like I said, I'll leave a link to that vampire show below. And that's all she wrote.